G'day guys, we've got an algebra question today where we've got two shapes, a square and a rectangle. We've got the perimeter of the square is 48 centimetres. Now, the area of the rectangle is 4 centimetres squared less than the area of the square. If the length of the rectangle is 4 centimetres greater than the breadth, find the perimeter of the rectangle. Okay, so what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to write the information that we're given in the question in a more easily accessible or easy to understand manner. So first of all, I'm going to say that the perimeter of the square is 48 centimetres. So let's just write that down. So we've got the perimeter of the square is equal to 48 centimetres. And what we can also say then is the perimeter of this square, we, we also know that this side here is going to be A and this side here is going to be A. So we could say that 4A is equal to 48 and A is equal to 12. So you can basically say that the side length of the square is 12 centimetres. Now, if the side length of the square is 12 centimetres, we can then say that the area of this square is going to be 12 squared, or 144 centimetres squared. Cool. So what we know now, guys, is the question then says that the area of the rectangle is 4 centimetres squared less than the area of the square. So we can say that the area of the rectangle is equal to 140 centimetres squared because that's 4 centimetres less than that. We can also express the area as a product of the two sides. We know that the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. X times Y is equal to 140. We also know that the length of the rectangle, or Y, is 4 centimetres greater than the breadth. So we know that y is equal to the width or the breadth plus 4. So what we can do with this information, guys, is I can substitute this y into this equation here. So I'm going to have x times Rather than writing y, I'm going to write x plus 4 equals 140. I'm going to multiply out the bracket. And then I'm going to move the 140 over to the left-hand side. Okay, so from here we're going to solve this equation for x. Now there are a number of different ways to do this. We can factorise it or we can use the quadratic formula. I'm going to factorise this because I can see the factors already. Um, the quadratic formula is a nice um, sort of foolproof method to solving quadratic equations. However, it's, it can be a little bit tedious. So I'm just going to go ahead and factorise this. So what I'm looking for here, guys, are two numbers that add together to equal 4 and multiply together to equal minus 140. So when I do my factorization, I'm going to have an x plus something and an x minus something which is equal to 0. So we're looking for two numbers with a difference of 4, which multiply together to give 140. Now, it's going to be 14 and 10, and the larger number has to be the positive one. So I'm going to say it's 14 and 10. Now, the null factor law says that if we've got two numbers that are multiplied together to equal 0, either x plus 14 equals 0, or x minus 10 has to equal 0. So from here, guys, I can say that x is going to either equal negative 14, or x is going to equal 10. Now, obviously, when we're talking about length, negative 14 doesn't make any sense. So one of the solutions is going to be x equals 10. Now, we know from above, guys, that if x equals 10, y is equal to x plus 4 from this equation here. So what I can do is I can simply substitute in my solution for x and I get my value for y. Cool. So the question is asking for the perimeter of the rectangle. Now, hopefully, guys, you're aware the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 times the width 
in this case x, plus 2 times the length, which is equal to y. So this is going to equal 2 times the width, which is 10, so 2 times 10 is 20, plus 2 times the width, which is 14, so that's going to be 28. So the perimeter is going to be equal to 48 centimetres. So just to make the question a bit easier to follow, I'm going to write the perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 48 centimetres. Cool. And that's all she wrote, guys. So let's just quickly go through what we did to solve this. First of all, I think it's important to have, if we've got a question that involves shapes, let's just draw the shapes. It makes the, the situation a lot easier to understand. Um, we can see that the perimeter of the square will be equal to 4 times the side length. And like on the same note, we, we know that this side here is going to be equal to y, and this side here is going to be equal to x on our rectangle. What we then did is we translated the information that we've got in the question onto the pictures and then used algebra to try and like determine any extra information that we can derive out of the information that we're given. What we then did is for the rectangle we got given two different pieces of information. We then created two equations and substituted one of those equations into the other so we could solve for one of the variables. Once we'd done that we used that solution substituted it back into one of our formulae and we were able to solve for the other variable which allowed us to find the perimeter of the rectangle. So this is just a quick video guys, I hope it did help. If it did, definitely give it a thumbs up, it does help my small channel grow. Um, if you also like the video, you can subscribe, I put out new videos like this all the time. Again, if you have a question that you'd like me to have a go at solving, don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below. So finally guys, the best way to master topics like this is through practice. Like with most maths problems, mastery comes through practice. You've just got to keep bashing your head against the wall until the wall falls down. But most of all guys, you've got to just make sure you keep enjoying your maths. So until next time, I'll see you soon.